With the possibility of being stranded by winter weather, many families in the Wabash Valley spent the day stocking up. News 10's Joe Ostrowski joined the crowds this afternoon and checked in with some local merchants to see how things were going. Joe, what'd you find? Mark Patrice, I'm here at Bazer's Market in Terre Haute. Let me tell you, it's absolutely packed. Now, every last cash register here is open. Each one has a bagger, and still there are long, long lines reaching back into the store. Same is true out in the parking lot. People are circling and circling, looking to find that perfect spot, that perfect piece of real estate so they can get in here and get stocked up. And we see people leaving with just about everything. People leaving with food, drinks, rock salt, just about anything you need to stock up. I spoke with workers here earlier today to find out how they're dealing with all these extra customers. Lines were long and aisles were packed at Baszler's Market on Monday. That left baggers like Eric Longworth scrambling to keep up. You just look for the items that go together, put them together, and put them in the bag and send them on their way. Whenever they call for snow, it's usually maybe a day or two days ahead of time. So the uh, biggest trouble is making sure we had enough people scheduled. Assistant manager Casey Baszler says his stores had twice the normal traffic. He says it's been years since he's seen crowds like this turn out before a storm. I wasn't around for the blizzard of 78, but I'd assume that this is, this is pretty close. Now, the most popular items here seem to be eggs, bread, and milk. We uh, don't usually run out, but we come pretty close. We can always call in reserves if we need to, and it looks like we're going to have to today. Across town at DIY Rentals, owner Holly Wiestefeld says customers aren't concerned about keeping food on the table, but keeping lights on at home with electric generators. This morning I had messages on my machine when we opened at 8.30 asking if we had them and how much they cost. By 11 o'clock they were all reserved and paid for it out the door. Wiestefeld says customers in rural areas are especially worried about this wild weather. One of my generators went all the way to um, Cloverdale. They, so he was prepared. He actually went through the Kentucky storm and didn't want to have to go through that again up here. So he was one of the first ones that actually called. Now, stores may be busy today, but the odds are they're going to be a little less busy tomorrow as people brave this weather at home. Reporting live in Terre Haute, I'm Joe Ostrowski for News 10. Back to you. Thank you, Joe.